Pinterest is one of the most intriguing social media networks. If your demographic is women or shopping or retail or do it yourself, Pinterest can really be a fantastic social media platform for you. In this video, I'm going to do a quick rundown of how Pinterest works with an eye to how to use Pinterest for social media marketing. Let's get started. Welcome back. We're doing a quick overview to Pinterest, the basics of Pinterest, uh, how it works, how to use it uh, for marketing. So let's just sort of talk about some basics uh, as we get started. We'll be a, a little um, politically incorrect, but a little bit factual. Pinterest is heavily women, uh, and it's really because it's heavily shopping. So it has a very strong demographic in retail, uh, wedding planning, uh, let's plan our dorm room, DIY, like quilting, home improvement. Uh, so it does reach men, but it tends to reach more women. And it certainly is really, really strong on things like how to plan a wedding or my dream wedding or my dream dorm room or my cooking projects. That's where it's really, really, really strong. So it's very strong in some niches and totally unimportant uh, in other niches. And you've got to inventory whether your business uh, really fits the demographic that Pinterest is reaching, uh, especially retail in particular. It's also pretty cool because you can go right from it. It's really a bookmarking sort of system. You can go right from a pin uh, to into shopping, and you can actually have buy it now buttons and all sorts of cool stuff as well. All right, so let's sort of dive into this, and let's get uh, our minds around sort of how it works as a user. And I've got sort of two accounts open here uh, so you can see that. And uh, we kind of want to understand it. Some housekeeping, I would recommend that you as a user or as a uh, retailer that you add the Pinterest browser button in. And um, it really makes it really, really uh, easy. And it's so easy when you're on, say, Chrome or something, just go Pinterest button Chrome and you're going to find the button uh, for Chrome, for Firefox, for um Internet Explorer or Edge or whatever. Okay, so let's just sort of uh, look at it from the perspective of a user. So this is my personal account. Um, so you can use on the desktop, you can use it on the phone, you can use it on the tablet, right? This is sort of like all of these guys. So when you log in, Pinterest sort of looks at your account and it looks at boards you follow, people you follow, and it, it's like any other social media, it gives you a... Um, uh, sort of a news feed and then I can just log in and I, I you can see right away I the main thing I do if I do anything on it is is dog toys so I, I do sort of d dog toys so I can go oh that's interesting you know 11 ways I can um, bond with my dog and then I can go over to BuzzFeed and I can see it or you can go into the board itself right and so you can go into a board or a person so here's someone who has got some interesting stuff and I can follow them or I can save their pins, etc. Now I can also search. I can go into here and put in dog toys and I can find interesting content and I can save it and I can go here and I can say, well, I'm looking at this uh, dog toys list and I can say, oh, this is great. And I can follow the board, right? So now I'm following that board. It'll show in my newsfeed or I can go up to um, uh, a person or something and I can follow the whole account okay now on my own account up here on the right this is me and then I have boards as well so I have a board you know dog toys to buy dog toys I'm looking at and so I as a user can pin things to my board that I want to save and this is where it's really cool from the retailer perspective so for instance I can go to Amazon and I can search for dog toys And I can find some dog toy that I'm interested in. So let's sort of find something that's sort of marginally interested in. So I can I can find this toy and go, oh, I really like that toy. And then I can click on the Pinterest button. And that's going to pop up my Pinterest. It's going to ask me for an image. And then I can write a commentary. And it's going to ask me what board to put it on. And I can put it on my dog toy board. And now it's there on my board. And I'm in... Uh, great shape for that. So I that's really its primary um, 
purpose as a user. Now I can collaborate, I can share pins, I can repin, you know, it's the whole social media thing. Oh my God, I totally need this, right? A Star Trek captain. Twice. So I can click save and then I can, so I've already saved it because it's so cool. And then I can save and go from that. And also that can go into a product. Notice I can go from here to the product. Well, it's not being it's sold out, of course, right? So you as a user are going to go onto Pinterest. You're going to find things. You're going to save them into your own account, AKA your own boards. You can pin, you can repin, you can reshare. Okay. That's what you do as a user. Now, as a company, we can quote unquote, help our customers by creating boards that are sort of focused on uh, their needs. So this is where it's very much a marketing customer segmentation issue, right? So I have a link for you here for Target, right, on Pinterest. So this is the account of Target, and I can click follow as a user if I wanted to follow the whole account. Or I can say, well, I'm not really interested in everything that Target does, but maybe I'm interested in kitchen. So I could sort of check out Target's board, cool stuff for kitchen, and I can click follow. So I as a user, so flip that around, so so Kaiser, so Target has created a board of cool stuff that Target sells that's related to kitchen, and they're trying to get people who love kitchen stuff to follow this board and sort of have you know ideas. That's the idea. So for instance, Target has a board on back to school and entertaining baby nursery, right? So here's REI. They have a board on gifts for gadget lovers, right? So if I'm shopping for Christmas or birthday or whatever, I can follow a whole board on gifts for gadget lovers and get ideas for gifts. So I could have, you know, some pre-Christmas shopping, I can do this by uh, having a board for people who I'm buying for who like gadgets and people who like kitchens and people like me who are not particularly Christmas spirited anyway, right? So you can you can really have fun with it. Now, other institutions, like here's the Metropolitan Museum of Art, right? It's a nonprofit as it were, and they have lots of really incredible stuff in their collection, right? I would love to like live in New York City and go see everything. And then I can go, oh, I'm really interested in this particular type of art, you know, and I can follow the board and then they're able to post uh, art in this genre, and then they can, uh, you know, talk about it or whatever. This looks like this is one of their sub sub facilities there. So Home Depot, right? And you have, oh, here's Home Depot's board on DIY wedding ideas. So somebody who's getting married, they can follow the do-it-yourself wedding ideas. And so if you worked at Home Depot, you would create the boards right for for all of these different topics so here's home depot they have 72 boards they have half a million followers and they have halloween fall tailgating you know vegetable gardening outdoor living backyard ideas you can see so they're sort of like uh, breaking up the store into the various um, idea uh, boards okay so that's uh, really kind of the basic concept is the person the idea board and the account and the social media is everyone sort of following and sharing uh, amongst them. Very good for that. Now let's talk a little bit about um, how to search and how to set up. Over here, this is as a company. So as a company, you can create a company account. So this is the JM Internet Group on Pinterest. It's, it's not particularly big for us, right? Because people don't really do books and things it's not that big but I have a, a board anyway so I can have a book I can have a board you know books on SEO and then I can go to Amazon right and I can just you know do do a little homework here I can search for books on SEO and I can oh this is a new book this is a, a new good book out there and I can then click on the the Pinterest button here and it's going to give me a, a, some pictures to choose from and then I can choose, I can put it on this board here. And then you can also go in and edit and discuss and all that kind of stuff on your boards. And then those boards would be visible to people following following um, that particular uh, board. Here, let me see if I refresh it, it should be there now. Yeah, so see, so this board, Books on SEO, has three books on it. And then if I click into one, I can edit it and I can, you know, I can say, you know, um, you know, really good, you know, new book on SEO from some leaders in the marketing industry, right? So I can write little comments on 
books as I find them to my board. They can be my own books, everyone's books, other people's. It's the sky's the limit at how you structure your boards. Not really much to it uh, once you get the hang of that. Now let's talk about searching Pinterest. So you can go to Pinterest directly and you can put in whatever you're interested in and you can search and you can build your content that way or get ideas. You can find people in this way. You can say, well, that's an interesting competitor. And then you can follow that person or that board. So I could follow this whole business, Jen 10 k It looks like she's a wedding photographer or something. I don't know, or maybe she's a person. So you can follow a person, you can follow a board, you can you can do whatever you want. That's one way to do it. And again, you just basically type in your keywords, organic food, and hit search and look for stuff. That's one way to do it. You can go to Google. You can type in site colon pinterest.com, no space, your keywords, and hit search. And then you can find stuff on Pinterest that way. And remember on Google, you can go search tools anytime past month. So a good way to kind of do your inventory is to use Pinterest, to use Google, to find companies, boards, people that relate to your genre and get ideas for, uh, from them. Uh, and then finally, a little trick here is if you, it's a little bit cumbersome, but if you see Pinterest.com slash source slash nytimes.com, these are things that are being pinned by um, people, by anyone. And then if you look at the number of pins, that's going to tell you what's people what are people pinning so you can see here when bob dylan won the nobel prize five people pinned that six people are pinning stuff on that article there generation adderall one pin so you can take anybody now that can be anybody you could put in here target.com and it's going to show so go up into the url browser bar and put in a, a url and you can see what are people pinning for a competitor this is a very uh, interesting way to kind of get a sense not only of what's that retailer pinning but what are people responding to from their boards and you go and look for the ones that have more uh, a higher number those are the ones that are more popular all right, so just wrapping up Pinterest really kind of quickly, we've learned basically the real demographic is uh, women slash shopping slash DIY. That's where it's really big. Uh, the kind of genre is something visual, like planning a wedding is really the stereotypical thing to do on Pinterest, planning a dorm room, something that's visual where you want to put a lot of ideas up and maybe collaborate with friends and family on them. Uh, it's absolutely great for retailers uh, for this uh, reason you need to grasp this idea of an idea board so it's not just like uh, Twitter or Facebook where you kind of just have an account you have a subset down your target and you have an idea board for back to school or an idea board for baby nursery and then you're gonna try to get people interested and you're giving them ideas and they're following your pins and your boards uh, as a result uh, there's some tricks to searching it like site colon pinterest.com on Google searching it directly or pasting the URL of a competitor into pinterest.com slash source slash whatever the domain is to see what is um, being pinned. That, my friends, is how to use Pinterest in less than 13 minutes. So subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions about Pinterest, shoot me an email uh, or send me a free dog toy. Thank you so much for watching.